Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through four strategies in Google ads that are outdated, they're dead, and they need to go. You should not be running any of these strategies or else you will be losing money. Now, a couple of these are going to be somewhat controversial. I don't care. This is what I see on a daily basis. I see that they lose money and I'm here to tell you what you should get rid of inside of Google ads, in my opinion. Now you're afraid to disagree with me, of course, but really these strategies, I don't see much debate for because they're just so bad. So let's begin starting off with number one, manual CPC. This is by far the most controversial. People still love manual CPC. And essentially what manual CPC is, is it allows you to go in and place a bid limit on every single keyword and say, I don't want to bid any more than $5 per click, $6 per click, whatever you set the limit at. And this for a very long time was the best bidding strategy because it would allow you to control the only real metric we had, which was the actual cost per click. Now we have a whole bunch of other metrics and we also have Google's AI, which actually senses buying signals on behalf of the actual customer and it is able to make much better decisions than just cost per click, meaning you can actually pay more cost per click, but get a lower cost per lead overall because Google's AI is so good at detecting who is in the actual market to buy versus who isn't in the actual market to buy. Just take for example someone who has been typing in you know HVAC services hiring near me HVAC businesses looking to hire and then they type in local HVAC services Google's AI already recognizes that this person isn't in the market to buy and won't show your ad for the most part now say someone is typing in HVAC services near me or I have an AC repair or my AC is broken and then they type in HVAC services near me Google understands that this person is more than likely in the market to actually purchase services or need some type of actual person to come out and have them repair their AC machine or whatever it is. And this is just an example. There's a lot of buying signals like demographic audiences. There's a whole bunch of stuff that actually goes into this. But my point is Google's AI is way better at making decisions than manual CPC and the average person. Now, I kind of understand why people still like manual CPC. A lot of the very popular courses, uh, they were created back in, you know, 2010, 2012, around there. And manual CPC was the predominant bidding strategy and it worked very, very well. And it, honestly, it was the best one out at the time. However, times have changed and really, if you're not using some type of AI bidding strategy, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because you can get your cost down significantly lower than with manual CPC. So I'm saying to you, please don't use manual CPC. I could see it in 0.1% of cases that maybe you could still use it maybe for like a super high end marketing company and there is no relevant data whatsoever. And like the, the cost per click was like $300. Maybe in that scenario, you could probably use manual CPC, but for 99.9% .9 of the actual cases, don't use manual CPC. You're going to waste a lot of money. The next method is the spray and pray method. And from the beginning, I don't think this was a very good strategy, but a lot of people used it in the sense that they would just essentially run a whole bunch of different campaigns. They would have one ad group in every single campaign and they put like 200 different keywords in it. I still see people do this, by the way. And then they would just let Google ads run and expect good results. Well, the issue is Google ads is very expensive now. It's not the same as it was in the early 2000s where you could get a cost per click of 40 cents. That's just not viable anymore. And what a lot of people do is they just bid on absolutely everything. It takes Google a very, very long time to optimize if you have 10 different campaigns running, as you could imagine, versus one campaign running, because it's a lot easier to optimize for just one. And then when they get terrible results, they just blame Google ads because, you know, it's Google ads' fault. It's never their fault. But the issue is just going in every direction. You have limited resources. You need to pick exactly what you are going to target and go after that very directly. Just like if you're trying to get as many phone call leads as possible, generally you don't want to be using a display campaign. You want to be using a search campaign or a call only ads campaign. That way you can generate just phone call leads. And it's important to figure out an overall strategy before you even begin Google ads. That way you can get rid of all that wasted ad spend and experimenting on stuff that just doesn't work. And of course, course, there's lots of different campaigns and a lot of them work very well, especially if you have the ability to optimize them. However, a lot of people just don't have that time or don't know how to and they're going to waste a lot of money and the spray and pray method just really needs to go. You can no longer just guess on what's going to work and then optimize it later on. You need to know what works beforehand and then double down on it. That way you get the best results and you can start making some money. The third strategy that I see 
that is completely dead and no longer needs to be used is the death of the website. The website for the longest time was where everyone sent traffic to. There's just their general homepage and it worked very well because cost per clicks were very low. However, they are no longer that low. It's no longer 40 cents or 30 cents or even a dollar. Uh, it is, you know, upwards of 15 to $20 sometimes, and that, that's very expensive, and you can't waste your actual ad spend on things that you could actually improve upon. Like, for a website, a normal website converts anywhere from less than 1% all the way up to 10%. A normal landing page converts anywhere from 20 to 40%. So literally overnight, you can double, triple, quadruple your actual conversion rates and the amount of leads you're getting every single month from just using one landing page. And a lot of people go, well, a landing page you know, it might take a hundred dollars to design and then maybe it's a hundred bucks to host it. It's like, yeah, but if you're spending $10,000 a month on Google ads and you're going to quadruple your results. So say we're getting a hundred leads a month and you're going to go from a hundred to 400 leads. That is a massive difference and definitely worth the $200 in, in the extra costs. And just so many people don't realize this. And yes, the website, that was the biggest, you know, driver of traffic for the longest time, but even the big brands and big companies out there that are using Google ads that don't really want to take the time to actually design individual landing pages, they're starting to move in that direction because they know how powerful a landing page is. And if you have a smaller budget, this is one of the strategies you have to actually get rid of. You have to use a landing page. I don't care what type of Google ads campaign you're running. Uh, th this is something that is just necessary to be successful in today's Google ads. Now, the last and final strategy that no longer works inside Google ads is the set it and forget it. A lot of people way back when you could just go into Google ads because Google ads was so, you know, user friendly and the costs were so low, you could just absolutely turn on a campaign, come back a couple months later, and it might be doing all right because Google ads, you know, your costs were just so low that you could always see a return. Now they're not. The set it and forget it strategy is completely dead. You need to optimize. You need to go in there at least on a weekly basis. Find the keywords that aren't converting. Pause them. Go through your search terms report. Make sure you're not appearing for any search terms you don't want to be appearing for. Make sure you add them as negatives. Make sure you go in, you A-B test your ad copy. Make sure you A-B test your landing page. And if I can recommend one thing, that is to check out our Google Ads optimization checklist. It walks you through everything you have to do on a weekly, monthly, three-month basis. It also lets you jot down your results so you can see your improvement month over month inside your account. Now, this is completely free, and the link for this is down below. I really do recommend having some sort of checklist inside Google Ads. That way, you just don't forget. Uh, I find myself a lot of times in Google Ads going, wait, did I actually check that? Or maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And pilots use checklists. I think a Google ad specialist should probably also use a checklist. Uh, so that's what I would recommend. But the set it and forget it strategy is just no longer there. Even the large companies, and I've seen a lot of agencies where they really don't do any optimization. They let Google's AI do the optimization. Don't get me wrong. Google's AI can do a pretty decent job. The issue is it's not perfect in everything that it does. It doesn't have the greatest ability to come up with headlines. You have to go in and manually do that. It's just not very creative in that sense. Can it pull headlines from an actual landing page and try and use them? Absolutely, but we don't know if that headline is good or not. It also isn't that great at looking through your search term report and actually adding negatives. It doesn't know whether or not it should bid on your competition. There's a lot of stuff that comes in at an overall strategy level that it just doesn't understand. It's very good at those minute details and alleviating them from your life and not making Google ads a super big headache, but it's just not great at the overall strategy and for the foreseeable future, it's gonna need someone to actually monitor it. For example, if you're trying to get as many calls as possible, Google's AI may just find the lowest cost per call and that lowest cost per call could be HVAC companies hiring near me. That's not a keyword we wanna be bidding on. However, Google's AI says, listen, I'm getting calls from that for like $4. This is fantastic. Keep doing that. And then you spend several hundred dollars on a keyword and you get all these calls that are just not relevant and they're wasting your time. This is something that needs to be managed and optimized on a regular basis. And I know a lot of people out there, you don't need to optimize Google ads because Google ads is perfect and AI never messes up. Try using chat GPT for almost anything. You have to always go in and make revisions. Google AI is really good, but it's not perfect. So please go in and make these optimizations 
negotiations. If you don't, you are going to lose a lot of money. And that is our final strategy for today. Don't set it and forget it or else you'll lose a lot of money. Now, I do have one big favor to ask, and that is for you to leave a like at the end of this video. I put so much time and effort into these videos and a like is very much appreciated. So if you can hit that like button, thank you very much in advance. Other than that, if you guys have any comments, questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.